you often appear for various exams have you ever thought what is a actual difference between a test a evaluation a assessment or a measurement so here we have for you a very simple understanding of the difference between the four terms now when we say test what actually it is it is to assess someone's or a person's knowledge and determine how much he or she knows so test basically help us to understand the knowledge of an individual and it is a way through which you can actually examine someone or find out about the person's knowledge what is evaluation evaluation implies making judgment based on the criteria or based on the information that has been achieved through test now once you are conducting a test you would be measuring it that means measurement implies you are quantifying it you are putting it in numbers as simple as that so once there is a test let's say you appear for an exam there is a test now this is to examine whether you know about that subject or not when the teacher tries to measure it what the teacher is trying to do the teacher is trying to give you marks let's say 15 out of 20 or 18 out of 20 10 out of 20 whatsoever it is and that is measurement and what is evaluation evaluation is a teacher's judgment that a teacher would say in a parents teacher meet how the child is performing how the child has been over the time period and which areas are weak which areas are strong so that is evaluation a very clear difference between test and evaluation now since we are on the end where we are trying to understand the decision making process or the judgment process under evaluation let's talk about one more interesting term and that is assessment and here is where most of the students get confused assessment simply implies i'm trying to gather all the information gather all the data that i have for a particular purpose and my sole objective is to make improvement in that area. So whatever your unit test, your class test takes place are a way forward towards assessment. And this is how we differentiate assessment from a test and an evaluation. So assessment implies it's an overall improvement process through gathering of the information analysis of a given information documenting the knowledge the skills that are there in measurable terms so you are able to understand the following things in certain criteria and that is what is assessment the sole objective under assessment is a improvement and that is where most of the things combine so whenever we are talking about science we are talking about reasoning we consider on a broader parameter to be the test evaluation assessment all to be the same and when we are talking about the intricacies of each of those we understand that there are minor differences in those now measurement as we already said we are trying to quantify it we are trying to represent the things in quantities or uh, ideas or qualities now this measurement interestingly can be of four types first is nominal the second is ordinal the third is ratio uh, we'll take the interval first and the ratio now how do we understand each of those nominal simply implies i am giving certain uh, assigning certain things to a particular thing for example if every time i am while i'm explaining you i have to mention colors red blue black it becomes very tedious for me so what i do for my convenience is i mark them as one two three so it's name only I'm what I'm trying to give under a nominal measurement is simply a name it does not mean there is no hierarchy there is no ranking nothing it's just for the sake of convenience I am putting up my own simple names let's say you go to Russia and there you find huge lot big names so what you do is for your convenience you give them small abbreviations 
and that's as simple as that so that is nominal ordinal means you are trying to arrange those in order so let's say there was a race who came first in the race who came second in the race and third in the race and this is what you are trying to do when you are focusing on an ordinal measurement you are trying to arrange them into order the next is interval very very important difference between interval and ratio when we say interval we are trying to find out the equal amount of difference that is present now this could be on the positive end this could be on the negative end so on the number line if i say minus 5 to 0 0 to 5 5 to 10 those are all equal intervals because what is the difference difference is there for 5 in each of the case and this is where we focus on interval but when it comes to ratio the things become very very different ratio means without any negative value uh, without any negative number so what we are trying to do is simply we are ignorant about whether the number is on the negative side or the positive side we are just comparing the quantity so let's say I have twice as many chocolates as you. So let's say you have 10 chocolates, I have 20 chocolates. So the ratio of the chocolates with me is what? It is twice. And that is where we find about the ratio measurement. So very, very important difference under interval and ratio. In interval, we are ignorant about whether the values go in negative direction or they go in positive direction. We are just focusing about equal amount of difference that is there and that is what is interval. However, in ratio, we are focusing on how much more or how much less than another. But in the same ratio, I cannot say an example of today is half as cold as yesterday. No, that won't be a sound example for this. So to make this example sound, I would have to have uh, a better interval score where I can say yesterday's temperature was 35, today's temperature is 36. Uh, day after tomorrow the temperature is 37 so there has been a constant interval of 1 degree celsius that has been seen on a daily basis so ratio simply means twice of half of one third of three times of so that is where we are trying to understand these measurements so this was a very fundamental introduction about understanding the difference between a test a evaluation assessment and measurement and then within measurement understanding the nominal ordinal ratio and interval we would be covering many more interesting topics under testing methodologies research so stay tuned for many more updates from our side have a wonderful day ahead